Hello everyone and welcome guys to round 3 of the AOR F3 series here on Assetto Corsa. Now unfortunately I wasn't able to make the first two rounds from Barcelona but we are here today ready for round 3 of the season from the Red Bull Ring. Now most weeks are two races long, the Nürburgring and also I think Monza towards the end of the season are just one shot races as well as Silverstone next time out but unfortunately my attendance is going to be a little bit patchy at the start of the season so expect a few videos here and there and then later on we should be able to get into a few more of these races but getting ready then on the grid for my first race of the championship here from the red bull ring we stuck it in third in qualifying which i was very very happy with but we'll wait and see as to how this goes in the race the six red lights are going to be coming on then in just a moment as all the cars start a revving up ready for the start of the race the six red lights and it is going to be lights out and away we finally get going there don't respond too well to the lights in all honesty you see a couple of people are going to be able to get a bit of a better start as we head down into towards turn one there we're just going to break a little bit too late accidentally use the downshift protection as well there and that's going to ruin my run at the first couple of corners you're going to see a couple of people fly past us on the run up towards turn two we get a big big squeeze Actually, from someone, they're not too sure who that was, so we have to bail out of that one. And we've already lost three places off the start of this race. We've got someone else potentially trying to have a sniff up the inside, up towards the top of the hill there. But we get the traction down much, much earlier there. So we move ourselves back up into P6 of the race there. But yeah, really not the best start that we needed, in all honesty. A tiny bit of contact, that front wing damage really shouldn't cost us all too much. As you can see, Sen's coming out already at the start of this race there. But we've held on. And we've done alright, we kept it fairly clean and tidy and that was the most important thing. And really heading into this championship, I wasn't really too sure what we should be aiming to achieve. In all honesty, I want to try and be, you know, sort of a good consistent point scorer. Definitely over the course of this evening's races, I learned the podiums are definitely going to be possible around the right sort of circuit. So we'll wait and see as to how that goes there. As you can see, heading down... In towards the final couple of corners of lap one. Someone's going to have to dive into the pit lane then. Not too sure. I'm guessing that was a jump start. But I really don't know for sure. In all honesty there. It's at the final corner on the end of lap one. We're going to move ourselves back up into P5 of the Grand Prix there. So only losing two places off the start. As once again making a bit of a mistake through turn one there. Don't quite get the car down enough gears. And that means we're going to be vulnerable as we head up the hill there. And yeah look at that you can see. The number, not too sure what number car that is, completely white paint scheme there. As we head up the hill, going to be able to have a look back up the inside as we reach the top of the hill. He's going to slam the door shut, we're going to have to slot him behind him. And you can see there, yeah, we do move ourselves back down then into P6 of the Grand Prix. But yeah, for this series though, rocking the cockpit cam with the Halo. You know, you can try and use T-cam on a set of course, but personally, I just sort of wanted to go with this there as we go for a really, really big send up the inside there a tiny bit of contact i think between the pair of us once again but we do make the move work and we're back up into p5 of the race but yeah like i was saying rocking the cockpit cam in this one with the halo really has made me consider whether i should try and use the halo and cockpit cam for more f1 league racing down the line as well although t cam you know it has its uses as well in the world there but yeah back up into p5 though of the race after a couple of action packed laps off the start they're making a little bit of a mistake as we head through the final couple of corners of lap two but over the next few laps then we would slowly close back up the gap to p3 and p4 there as we head down in towards the final couple of corners here we've got it's half hour races so we've got just over 22 minutes left on the clock there as you can see they're going to go side by side down in towards the penultimate corner then there's going to be contact and unfortunately for us nowhere for us to go we try to avoid it at the very last moment there but completely pile into the back of one of them there and after all of that we only well we ended up making up one place from all of that but yeah really really annoyed that we managed to get roped into that one there just two guys in front of us span sat on the racing line nowhere really that we could go you know you try and react as best as possible there as we almost put it in the wall through turn one there another mistake coming out through the first couple of corners there but yeah that was rather frustrating that's going to give us a little bit more front wing damage there which probably is going to start costing us through the twisty bits around this circuit there but yeah not what we needed at the moment as you can see struggling a little bit that turn two is the most difficult corner on this track just trying to get the power down because the back end really does go all over the place as you can see though heading on now to about halfway through the race you can see we're finally starting to learn 
how to attack at turn one here. We are now starting to apply the pressure to, I think this was Echo Tech in the race at the moment there. As you can see, heading up the hill, lagging around a little bit is the American driver just in front of us here as we head up now into turn two. You can see, yeah, that's definitely not quite how a Formula 3 car should be heading through the second corner of the Austrian Grand Prix circuit there. We're still in the DRS at the moment. Obviously, everyone gets DRS on every single lap on AC there. You can see heading down the hill, we're going to break just out the 100 meter board as normal. Echo Tech's going to lag forward, lag back, and we're both going to get roped into that. And you can see that was really, really annoying there. He's going to completely lag through me as well then. Yeah, really not too sure what that was all about, but that's going to cost us both a lot of time. Myself, a couple of places as well there. As you can see, we're now going to drop down to P7 of the Grand Prix. So it's very much been up and down in the first half of the first race there. And yeah, rather annoyed with that one, just nothing really either of us could do in that situation. We tried to hit our brake marker, he was a long way ahead, you know, it never really was going to be one of those ones where I thought we'd be applying the pressure, and yeah, unfortunately it did cost us both a lot of time when all is said and done. Now, one lap later now, you can see, slowly trying to keep up with this gaggle of cars, if we got all the way up to about P4 at the moment there, as we reach the top of the hill, and we're going to drop the back end, and that's going to cost us even more time and even more places in this race there. So yeah, getting rather annoyed with myself at this stage of the day that we are making these, you know, really, really stupid mistakes. But it's a learning curve. You know, hopefully we are slowly but surely going to be getting better at a uh, set of course. I normally almost call it ACC there, but you know, we're, we're making different sort of progress on that game at the moment. So yeah, a little bit frustrated with how we're going at the moment, but we've still got, you know, another 14 minutes of this race to slowly try and recover some places, but all the way down near to P9 of the Grand Prix. We're certainly going to need quite a miracle to try and recover some spots here. You can see about, eight, about six, seven laps later, you can see a big, big battle now going on for P6 of the Grand Prix there. As you can see, three cars just in front of us. And actually saying that, I think one of them is a lapped car there. Someone else runs wide into the gravel trap. I think that was Echo, but I'm not 100% sure in all honesty there. So he's going to drop back down into P9 of the Grand Prix. But at the moment, we're still trying to hold on and make up a few more places. You know, we felt quite quick at this stage of the race. We were setting some very, very good laps at the moment here. But yeah, just losing a little bit of time, unfortunately. You can see now, not too sure who this is, but they are a lapped car, so they're going to get out of the way and let us through. So we have now got a little bit of clear air. Once again, there's right the curbs through the final couple of corners there. Gets a little bit loose as the centre plank just takes a lot of curving there. As you can see now, a couple of laps later, someone else spinning out of the race. We're going to be over to P7 of the race there. And yeah, again, not too sure who that is at this stage of the day. But yeah, we're slowly but surely making a little bit more progress at the moment. You know, P5 is just there up the road. So hopefully we can try and close up the gap to them there. As you can see the guy just in front of us making a bit of a mistake on the exit of turn one. So we might be able to get the run up the hill here in towards turn two. He's lagging around just a tiny bit there, but it's much, much better than Echo early on. And we're just going to go for the full send up the inside. Try not to drop the rear end over the inside curbing there. And yeah, we now move ourselves up into P6 of the race. So still making good progress at the moment here. We're just over three minutes to go of the race. About another two or three more laps here at the Red Bull ring there. As you can see the next car just a couple of seconds up the road. And yeah, like I said, we were starting to build up a bit of confidence at this stage of the day. Starting to hit our markers a little bit more. Everything like that. And you can see one lap later now. All over the back of P5 there. And it's not even really going to be much of a battle. No, a little bit of lag. I think going on there. He rubber bands just a little bit further up in front of us there. We're going to have to get nice and early on the anchors. But we're still going to be able to get the nose up the inside there. And we now move ourselves up into P5 of the Grand Prix there. Get the power down on the traction zone. And yeah, we're now comfortably up into P5 of the race. So we're still making good progress at the moment, but I mean, P4 is a long, long way up the road at the moment here. So yeah, two minutes to go, though, of this race. We've got one more lap after this one, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, we can just try and hold on to this position here and, yeah, hopefully bring home P5 at the end of the day. And now heading on to the final lap of the race. We did keep it nice and tidy, everything like that. And yeah, coming through, you can see actually making quite a bit of time up over the guys behind us there. So we started P3 in this one, dropped down to P5 at the end of lap one, made quite a few mistakes that left us all the way down in 
P9, sorry, excuse me there. And yeah, we slowly but surely recovered it. Back up at the end of the day there to P5 when all is said and done. So really quite happy with that result at the end of the day there. As you can see, yeah, quite happy with that one. So yeah, first race in the books then from the championship. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do make sure you do get yourself subscribed as well. But yeah, we will be back very, very shortly with the second race from the Red Bull Ring. But yeah, I must admit, this RSS Formula 3 car is an absolute joy to drive as well. I'm very, very much looking forward to the rest of the championship as we slowly but surely get ready for F1 2020. But yeah, that'll do us for this video though, guys. Like I said, if you did enjoy, do make sure you get yourself subscribed. And we will be back next time out for round four of the championship.